Hi guys, Todd here. This is what shall be known as a totally unprepared review. Um, totally. So unprepared. Ah, this... Yeah. Here we go anyway. Some of you may remember this. This was the Kato mod. For those of you that uh, know about Kato, uh, many, many, many moons ago, um, Kato was uh, teasing us with, they had, it was basically something that looked like the Kato mod, it was very similar, and he had his own Ayati in it, he did his own little Ayati, uh, and, and and I lust, 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 lusted, lusted after that for ages. And yeah, you know, he never made it, never made it, never made it. Then, uh, ah, then all of a sudden I got an email from Frank saying, how would you like to review this? And I was like, woohoo. Uh, so this came along and this came along. Uh, so we had two Kato's and different configurations or for different size batteries. And we now have this. This is the Kato Mini. Now this is for this 14500 batteries. Now it's, it's a to toty, small, petite version of this. Uh, immediately, um, things to point out, as I said, it's a 14500 battery it takes. Uh, and also it doesn't have the polished finish. Um, it has, and, and this is what Frank sent me on, and uh, there's a bit of a communication breakdown here between me and Frank. Um, hot tempered stone processing. I have absolutely no idea what that means. Uh, well, I think they chuck it in a tumble dryer with some pebbles. I don't know, but uh, you'll see the finish when we're going for the close-ups. Uh, right, uh, just for those of you that don't know the 14500 batteries. Well, okay, you stay here just now. Right, these are your 14500 batteries, okay? They're only 600 milliamp hours. Uh, this is not for sub -ohming. This is not for, you know, going to last you a long time. These are tiny wee batteries and really, you, you know, you're going to be about 1.5, one, if you're using a 1.8 ohm coil, perfect. It really is designed for that kind of vaping. Uh, sub ohm, one ohm, uh, well, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd, I'd go for about the 1.5. That's what I find my sweet spot with these kind of batteries. Uh, right now in here, I have, uh, and I can't pronounce it, so it's an Atmel Mechani, uh, basically a steam machine base with uh, one of their dripper uh, sections on top. And uh, yeah, this is a 14 mil in diameter. And that is really the biggest tank you're going to get in here. It's 14 mil in diameter. Forget anything else, it just will not fit. Now, here we go, prices. Uh, the first batch, there was only 500 sets available and that was in Korea, old Korea only. Yes, it was Korea. You have no idea where Korea is. You don't want to go there, they'd eat you. Um, and the second batch that they're making will be in the middle of April they'll be available. So you'll be able to go along to the site, be up in the corner, uh, grab them on Facebook or whatever and, and purchase it through there. But $165, that includes shipping. Um, I think other than that, we'll just go in for close-ups. Yes, we will, close-ups. Here we go. Now, once again, uh, as with all the, you know, the Profit Vapor gear, it's coming in uh, these kind of boxes and it's very well packaged in this foam packaging here and we have this on top so no damage is going to occur. This is the Kato Mini and for once I know that to be a fact because it's written on it. Uh, so we have heavily engraved going across here Kato Mini and it is quite different to the, the other ones. I mean we had this going on before so you can see the difference there. It is quite different. Uh, also in the last one we had uh, this with a serial number and this time we have looks like this. 
Uh, as I said to you, you know, you're looking at uh, 14 mil tanks that you're going to get down here. Uh, that is pretty much it. Um, I mean, I've been able to get my Atma Mechanics, you know, Jenny uh, steam machine down here, the the line by van, and a couple of other things will go down there. Uh, but you know, that's bear that in mind. The finish, showing you the finish up close. Yeah, you know, when I was saying it was chucked in a tumble machine, a uh, tumble dryer with some pebbles. You know, it does have this. It's actually smooth. I mean, this feels smooth, uh, but. It does have that, uh, well, it's got that look to it. Uh, like I said, the, the engraving is bang on. You know, it's, it's just so heavily engraved there. It's a nice job. Uh, the switch, we'll take this off and we'll give you a look. So, you see here we've got a, a brass contact going on here. And you've got the locking ring which is not reverse threaded, which I still maintain as a pain in the backside on the Kato mods, but there we go. And you can see you can push that there. And that contact comes out. It's just, it's a, there's nothing remarkable about this button or nothing to, to, to really point out in great detail. Uh, it just does the job, does what it needs to do. And you can see we've got another contact down there. Now I have been putting my uh, batteries in nipple down. That it, it, it's entirely up to you, but I've been putting them nipple down. If you are, mind there is no insulator around here on the what I would consider to be the base. Uh, so you know you want to make sure that your batteries have a wrap going around the bottom of them as well. Now this this is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, Basically when you pop your battery in, you can unscrew this bit here and take your battery rattle out and make adjustments for different battery sizes by unscrewing this brass contact here. And you can see that that goes right down to the bottom there. So I do like that and also you've got an adjustable 510 here as well. See that's in there, it's not sprung loaded or anything but you can fully adjust it. Uh, just by turning this. You can also, and uh, I don't have I got an Allen key here that will do this. And would you add them and eat it? There we go, uh, a 2.5mm uh, Allen key. And I'm just going to unscrew this. Because uh, what Frank was saying is that you can get different coloured uh, bases. So I'll just take that out. You can see the machining in that. Uh, it's a big bruiser, that thing. And we'll just take the battery adjuster out as well. There you go. So your battery. So here we go, just pull this out. There we go. Ah, you can see you've got a brass contact running across there. And that's it for the internals. So back together, like I said, I'm going to put my battery in, nipple down. And make sure, like I said, you've got a wrap around the bottom there. So she's in. Screw the switch down. So there's your locking ring there. So the locking ring's off. So I'm going to adjust this and take the battery rattle out. So I'll just tighten that up. There we go. No battery rattle. Uh, remember, it does come with a 510 Ego adapter. Uh, so I'm just going to pop this in here. Screw this down. And I might actually uns unscrew this just a little bit, see this tank will go down a wee bit further. That's as far as she'll go, that tank, and then do this back up. So it's all together, give it a little push, and she's firing away. And that really is it for the close-ups. Um, I mean, you really are looking size-wise, uh, I mean, not including the button, you're looking at about 70mm um, top to bottom. Uh, 
width you've got about 33 millimeters across here and you know across here you're looking at 18 millimeters I'm just going to jump into summing this up uh, because I can with this one because I know my Kato's. I mean, I, I, you know, the Kato mods. I am a fan of the Kato mods. I like these a lot. Um, you know, ever since I first saw them, uh, the prototypes. I've just, ah, I've just got this thing about them. Uh, they're just. Yeah, I know folk going about it. Well, it's a clone of the VTR. Well, no, it's not actually. These were designed and whatnot long before the VTR. Um, so, the previous models I'm a big fan of. This, pros and cons. For me, this for me and my style of vaping and my opinion and tastes and all that kind of thing, bear that in mind. I don't like the finish. I don't. If I didn't have the other two Kato mods, I might be okay with it. But for me, it's... It's like the Return of the Jedi. You know, it's, sorry, don't go film, don't go film geeky mode. Um, these had a progression. You know, there was different battery sized, and but the, the, the style was the same. The style's the same in this, but the... The finish is different, and and that's like, you know, uh, it's just phantom menace. It's just um, it doesn't do it for me. I'm disappointed because I would have loved the polished finish in this as well. I just wish he'd stayed with it. Some people might like this. Some people might not. I am one of the people that don't like it, and that is just the finish. Right, so that's that. That's my first negative point. My second one is the locking ring, um, because it's not reverse threaded again. Um, uh, so that's nearly always a negative in my book. I like reverse threading. Um, plus, it's not knurled. The, the previous versions, the locking ring was knurled. Um, I must say, it, it does seem to be a bit smoother on the action, the locking ring, on this, um, than the previous ones. So, it's not locked or bound or anything like that on me, so... I would still like to have seen it reverse threaded. That's just me. And that's it. That's my two issues with this device. Um, on the plus side, I still love the design of it. I still think this is a beautiful design, and uh, yeah, it, it does, it just appeals to me, uh, just my, right, some people, well actually I'm not going to put this as a negative because this is the design of the device. You know, the diameter of tanks you can use are only 14 mil. Um, to me, that I am prepared to accept that because that's, you know, if it was bigger, you would have to have a, a bigger device. And the whole point of this Mini is that it's Mini. Um, the 14500 batteries might be an issue for some. Uh, only 600 milliamp hour. Um, it's just one of these things, you know, when you get to this size of device, you have to accept these things, you know, it's, so I wouldn't class them as negatives myself, it's just, you know, it's a fact, it's just one of these things. Uh, adjustments in the bottom, I do like, uh, I like you can adjust a 5 temp, I'm going to do a Mr. Bissardo here, but you need a tool for it. Uh, well, you do kind of, but I find that I can do it with my nail, no problem but realistically you do need a, a screwdriver or something similar to adjust for batteries and adjust the 510. Good action on the switch, I do like the switch on it, it's got a good nice little throw on it, it's really short on it. The price is what the price is, I think it works out about £110 delivered to your door. It's kind of in keeping with the price of the other Kato mods, you know, coming down a bit. Um, if you're into your 14500 mods, I think you would like this. I, I think you would like this. I mean, I, I love my 14500 mods. Um, it's just... 
tiny. It's just absolutely tiny. It's just so cute. Um, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to buy this, you know, you can go along and catch them in profitvapor.com. Uh, I would probably suggest going along to the, the Facebook page, contacting them there. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, go along there. All the details will be in the YouTube description, so you can read up there. That note. We'll catch you next time. Thanks again, Frank. Catch you later. Bye now.